so the mass transfer we will use this case mass transfer limited reaction and pack bed and what is pack bed this was bed and there is some catalyst particle which are present in the bed so, so some fluid is passing and mass is transferring from the liquid to the catalyst particle so this is the mass transfer limited reaction in pack bed so the bed can also be like horizontal this is suppose this is the pack bed some catalyst particle fluid is flowing so mass is transferring from the liquid to the surface of the catalyst and it is coming out so suppose this is the z direction so now a number of industrial reaction are potentially mass transfer limited because they can be carried out at high temperature without the occurrence of undesirable side reaction so in, in industry a lot of reaction occur at very high temperature so at very high temperature the reaction rate will be very very at the reaction rate will be very very high the reaction rate will be very very high but the um, at high temperature the mass transfer limited cases will occur the only resistance will only occur to the uh, mass transfer so uh, in industry the um, um, most of the reaction occur take place at high temperature in the mass transfer dominated uh, reaction the surface reaction is so rapid in the mass transfer dominated reaction in mass transfer dominated reaction the surface reaction is so rapid that the rate of transfer of component a from the bulk uh, or liquid to the surface limit the overall rate of reaction so the whole resistance uh, here occur in the mass transfer uh, in the hydrodynamic boundary layer and at the surface of catalyst very rapid reaction take uh, are taking place uh, due to very high temperature consequently the mass transfer limited reaction respond quietly differently to change in temperature and flow condition then rate limited reaction discussed in previous uh, chapter in this section basic equation we uh, mm, to design the reactor uh, designing in this section the basic equation describing the variation of conversion with various reactor design parameter will be developed to achieve this goal uh, mm, in order to determine the weight of catalyst flow condition we will uh, design uh, a pack bed uh, reactor and we will to achieve this goal we begin carrying out mole balance on the following mass transfer limited reaction so we will use mass transfer limited reaction and we will design a pack bed reactor so, uh, so this is a general reaction this was a general reaction a a b b are combining which are give c c plus d mole of component d divide both side by the stoichiometric coefficient of component A, so you will get A plus B A this one, so you will get this one. Now carry out a uh, fake bed reactor, uh, these are direction are taking place in the fake bed reactor, at steady state mole balance on reactant A in the reactor segment between Z plus, uh, Z plus delta Z, this is Z, this is Z plus delta Z, so the reaction taking place in this small region. Uh, mm, will be uh, at steady state the mole balance will apply in this small region at steady state the accumulation term will be zero so the mole balance equation is molar rate in molar rate out molar rate in molar rate out molar rate molar rate of generation in this small region and the molar rate of accumulation in this small region so there is no accumulation in this region so this term will be zero the molar flow rate n at z position is fz at into z at this position the molar rate out at this position will be this one multiplied by this one and the molar rate of generation will be the rate of disappearance of component a for unit surface area of catalyst and this is the this is the this is the surface area for unit volume of the reactor and this is the cross sectional area for the flow and this is the uh, delta z small thickness of the in the bed of catalyst so r a is the rate of generation of component a per unit of catalyst surface area and a c is the external surface area of catalyst per unit volume of the bed surface area of the catalyst per unit volume of bed so suppose this is volume of the bed and this is a catalyst and this is the external surface area this one so this is a this is the external surface area of catalyst in this whole volume in this whole volume is denoted by a 
C external surface area and the formula for external surface area is volume of the solid volume of the bed and it is equal to this is the volume of the solid divided by volume of the bed and the surface area of the particle this is the surface area of the spherical particle this is the volume of the spherical particle this one now the upper simplification you will get this relation for specific surface area or the external surface area of catalyst per unit volume of catalyst this is the porosity of the bit or white fraction this is the particle diameter this is the cross sectional area of the tube containing the catalyst particle and its unit is square meter now divide the, the above equation by cross sectional area into delta z this is the delta z this is the delta z divided by delta z and cross sectional area cross sectional area now this equation divide this equation by cross sectional area and cross sectional area into delta z cross sectional area into delta z and cross sectional area delta z this term will be zero cross sectional area this cancel with this delta z cancel with delta z so we will get uh, f a f a at z minus f a at z plus delta z and uh, this is delta z and divided by 1 over cross sectional area and this is plus r a rate of disappearance of component a at the surface of catalyst is equal to 0 so when delta z tend to 0 when delta z tend to 0 we will get differential equation from this term from this term so it will be equal to 1 divided by cross sectional area and minus sign will occur dfa dfa divided by dz plus r a is equal to 0 so we will get this differential equation and the differential equation is this one this differential and this is the z direction z is present because it is in z direction so uh, this is the f a z in the z direction component a flowing in the z direction so this equation will we will get this equation we will get this equation r a into a c r a into and this is the a c is also present you can see this is a c so a c is also present a c is also present in this equation so now we need to express f a and r a in term of concentration so we know that the molar flow rate is equal to mole per unit time and it is equal to the flux multiplied by area perpendicular to the flux so flux is mole per unit area and this is the per unit area and to time and the area perpendicular to the flux is square meter so this cancel with this so cross sectional area and the flux in z direction is equal to molar rate in the z direction now this is the cross sectional area but flux are of two type one is the diffusion flux and other is convective flux so uh, in this case this is this there was a catalyst particle a fluid were flowing so the convective uh, the velocity of the fluid is uh, v so at very high velocity the convective flux is very very large but diffusion uh, from the fluid to the catalyst surface is very very small in this case so the diffusion term will be zero so we will ignore the diffusion term because the diffusion term is zero and the convective term is very high due to high velocity of the fluid so the component a is transferring from fluid to the surface of catalyst uh, mm, by occurring this the uh, transport of component a from the bulk uh, of the fluid to the surface of catalyst is only uh, occurring by the convective transport of the fluid so this is the this term is uh, very very small so it will be equal to zero and um, uh, it will be equal to zero and this is baz this is the convective flux baz convective flux of component a in the z direction now waz convective flux waz is equal to waz is equal to baz so the flux were two type jaz plus baz plus baz jz was zero so we uh, left wz will e equal to baz so baz baz 
now V A Z is equal to the this flux is nothing but the concentration of A concentration of A and the uh, velocity of A and B the velocity the whole velocity this U A and B is over all velocity so this is the concentration and the velocity so we have already derived this relation so in place of B A Z you will write C A into U and this is the cross sectional area this one so now mm, F A Z in place of F A Z put U C A and A C in this equation in place of F A Z so you can C A into U and uh, and this uh, A C this A C cancel with this A C you can see with this A C and this is the R A and A C now Now for the case of constant superficial velocity for the constant u, u superficial velocity and s is the volumetric flow rate for the cross sectional area of the fluid. So volumetric flow rate, this is the cross sectional area and the volumetric flow rate. So from these two relation uh, quantity you can get the superficial velocity. So if superficial velocity is constant, so what will be done? The superficial velocity will come from the differential. This will come from the differential because of constant. So it will come from the differential. It will come out from the differential. So you will get this type of relation. You will get this type of relationship. So you will get this type of relationship. Now uh, uh, we know that reaction at steady state, the molar flux, uh, a reaction at steady state, the molar flux for reaction at steady state the molar flux of A at the particle surface is equal to the rate of disappearance. So at steady state uh, the molar flux uh, for reaction at steady state the molar flux of A at the particle surface which is WAR is equal to the rate of disappearance of A. So the molar flux of A to the particle surface is equal to the rate of disappearance. So at steady state when when component A uh, the flux of component A reaches to the uh, surface of catalyst at that time the rate of disappearance of component A will occur at the surface of catalyst and B will form and this is the catalyst particle this is the boundary layer thickness a C is greater than C A S uh, concentration of component A at the surface of catalyst is very very small the concentration of component A in the bulk flow is very very large this is C A and this is C A S C A S C A and this is the flux in the radial direction so r a double dash will be equal to w a r so in place of r a double dash we will write w a r w a r and w a r is nothing but it is equal to c a into c a s multiplied by mass transfer coefficient the mass transfer coefficient which is equal to this one and the bulk concentration and this is the concentration of the surface of catalyst so um, now uh, this was the, the differential equation this term and in place of r a double dash we have written w a r and w a r was equal to k c c a minus c a s uh, but this was minus so this is minus and the minus term come to this place and this was equal to zero in most mass transfer in most mass transfer limited uh, uh, reaction the surface concentration is negligible so the surface concentration is negligible so cs will be zero in most cases so cs will be equal to zero so it will become c a a c and k c and it will be equal to this so after simplification we will get this now integrating integrate this equation integrate this equation minus u d c a by d z is equal to k c a c c a so uh, um, uh, this will be equal to um, dCA divided by CA and it will equal to KC AC and it will divided by uh, this will be equal to this will and this will come to this side and this is the uh, DZ so uh, uh, Z is equal to 0 CA is equal to CNR so this is constant this whole term is constant so when Z is equal to 0 C A will be equal to C A will be equal to uh, C N R. 
C A will be equal to C A naught. Z is equal to zero. C A will be equal to C A naught. So, and when Z is equal to Z, so C A will Z is equal to Z. C A will be equal to C A. C A naught. So you can also say when Z is equal to zero. So this, suppose this is this is the Z direction. So this is Z is equal to zero at the surface of catalyst. So concentration here is C A S. You can also write C A S. When Z is equal to Z, this is in the bulk region. The concentration will be equal to C A. Or you can write C A B, bulk concentration. So after mm, uh, after in, uh, after applying limit, so this will be equal to L N C A applying limit C A not C A, and this is minus K C A C U and this is Z. So uh, after uh, applying limit, uh, you can get this exponential function. So this is this exponential function. Now uh, mm, this exponential function. So you can also say uh, that R A from the previous relation that R A double dash is equal to K C and C A, K C and C A, K C and C A, and C A from this relation is equal to this term will come to this side C A naught, C A naught. So C A. Equal to this term, and this whole term when multiply by K C, we will get this relation. K C, we will get this relationship. So this relationship shows us the uh, length of the peg bed uh, reactor. The length of peg bed reactor. Suppose is a peg bed reactor. Z is the length of the reactor, and the rate of disappearance of component A at the surface of catalyst. So when length increases. The rate of disappearance of component A at the surface of catalyst will increase. So conversion will the rate of disappearance of component A at the surface of catalyst will be uh, look like this one. So when Z this is the Z and this is C A divided by C A naught. So when Z increases, the conversion increases. So the conversion the conversion increases. So when Z increases, length of the reactor increases. This is the Z direction. So when Z increases, the conversion of component A in the reactor will increase. So, so when the conversion increases, what will be the concentration of A? The concentration of A will decrease. So because concentration of A is equal to C A naught one minus X. So when this increases, when this increases, this term will decrease. So so conversion, uh, mm, uh, the conversion increases, the concentration of A in the reactor will decreases and exponential uh, function will appear and this exponential function can also be obtained from this relation from this relation from this relationship you can obtain so this is the conversion now the conversion can be uh, look like you can also the conversion can be defined conversion by this concentration at position l initial concentration divided by initial concentration is equal to conversion of component a so this term can be uh, now C A is divided by C A naught was is equal to some terms in this position. Uh, you can also relate conversion and concentration by this relation, and this C A by C A naught can be equal to this term. So after simplification, we will get this relation: length of the reactor, and this is the conversion. So when the length of reactor increases, the conversion will be increases from this graph. So now this was uh, just introduction the mass transfer limitation and reactant system. Thank you very much. This was the end of this chapter number 14. Thank you very much.